P here from BP3 Crypto on BP3 TV. Hope that wherever you are, you're having a great night. And I want to remind you that this is educational advice only. It's not investing advice. Do your own research. Only invest what you can afford to lose. And with that, how's everybody doing? I hope everybody is great tonight. It's Friday. Today I'm in Texas. I do bounce around a lot. I kind of keep my job a little quiet, but um, it allows me to get to... Well, I can go to 52 cities if I want mm, a year. In other words, uh, my job's on the road and it is operating 52 weeks out of the year. Anyway, it brings me to Texas today. So what I do, I went for a nice run. Uh, I like running around downtown, the Alamo River Walk. It's a really cool area. I got caught out in the rain and the last two miles I came back in the pouring rain. And it was really, really cool. You know, like you start to get a little wet. Okay, you know, whatever. Maybe you can make it back. Maybe not. Should I stop? Should I not stop? But hey, eventually it's just like throw your hands up in the air, have a good time, act like a kid again, run, jump through the puddles. You're already soaked. So what's the big deal? You know, it was cool. Anyway, enough of that. What did I want to talk about? There's a couple of things that popped into, uh, well, there's a lot of things that popped off of my desk today, but there's a uh, Four things, one, two, three, four, five things I'm just going to touch base on uh, today to give you a little um, give you a little news on the cryptocurrency market. Um, I'm just going to go over coin market cap just to see how things are doing from a health perspective. And then I ran into this today. Uh, some Andy Warhol art uh, was um, sold. And it's interesting because they used a blockchain to sell it. There's a, a coin at the, um, uh, the art vendor's uh, business. So there's that, but there's Bitcoin and Ethereum. We'll take a look at the article. It's really neat. And it's actually a security too. But anyway, um, Yahoo Finance, uh, uh, as some of you probably already know, uh, they put a plug in for Bitcoin, Litecoin, and Ethereum uh, about uh, two weeks ago, a little less than two weeks ago. Well, an advertisement popped up on NFL today uh, talking about their finance. And uh, what they have to offer. So, hey, pretty cool. We'll talk a little bit more about that. Litecoin is uh, going to be on Gemini. I kind of knew that was happening. You could read through the lines, but it's actually announced. And to wrap it up, uh, Google Play made a mistake, but they fixed it. So we'll talk about it real quick, and you decide for yourself what's going on over there. Once again, Bill P. here from BP3 Crypto. So... Let's take a look at coin market cap. Not particularly my favorite, but it works well enough to give us a general idea. I guess, right? That we're doing here, right? Is getting a general idea. So let's move my big head out of the way here. Oh, the Litecoin conference started yesterday. Well, it actually started today, but they had a big party yesterday. Would have liked to be here there. I heard it was pretty good. But can't be everywhere. Can't do everything. So let's look here um, up at the top. So we're still over $200 billion for our market cap, which is pretty cool, right? i uh, like to see it a lot higher, obviously. I think everybody would. But we're staying above 200. We're at 201 right now. So that's all right. Bitcoin dominance, 55.9, about the same it was yesterday. Still pretty high as far as uh, traditional Bitcoin dominance goes since we've had all these altcoins. If we take a look at it, it's the same old story that it's been uh, lately for the past couple of weeks. Bitcoin's at 65.11 right now. It's up 12% over the 24 hours. Not that much over the 24 hours, but it's holding its own. And then every day or two, it seems to make a little creep up and it holds that and it creeps up and it holds that. At least that's what it seems like when you compare it to what it was a week ago. Um, it doesn't look like it changed much, but if you go back, if you look at my cursor here, I'll bring it up here, take a look at that chart. You see right there, we had a big, huge dip. So we've recovered from where we were a week ago through that dip, back up, back down into a valley, and then back on up. Not too bad. Can't say uh, the same for everybody else, although there were big recoveries all across the board. We all heard it yesterday. Ethereum did pick up, and it's currently sitting at 210. So congrats to the Ethereum hodlers because it's – um. It's been a long way down with the Ethereum, and it looks like it's going to be a slow, very slow way back up. But anyway, congrats to the Ethereum builders for holding on to their coin. 
XRP, Bitcoin Cash, yeah, yeah, EOS, yeah, whatever. But um, just general health, right? Here's something else I do. Click View All. And then it's going to um, give us a little more information. So you can see Bitcoin is up 0.32. So it's not even up a percent in the seven days. Slightly down in the last hour. Slightly down in the last 24 hours. Um, not too much uh, green anywhere here. Monero, a little bit of green. Litecoin, a little bit of green. Litecoin had a pretty good day today. Little spots here and there, little spots here and there. Not many with uh, green all across. Nano's doing really well, and it's worth um, out in Decred. But these are, you know, you guys can do this too. You, link will be in below. Go to Coin Market Cap. Take a look at the Christmas tree colors and see what you think. Okay, so I want to get into the cool stuff, right? My little face go. Ah, there we are. And you know what? I'm too tired. I got Andy right next to me. Hey, look at me. Hey, it's all three. Hey, we, 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 we match a blue shirt. Anyway, Andy Warhol's multi million dollar painting tokenized and sold on the blockchain. This is really cool. And this article here is just like a general one, but then I'm going to tell you something really cool. In a first, in a world first, an art worth, worth millions of dollars has been tokenized and sold in the blockchain. 14 small electric cars, a two meter high painting by the late renowned American visual artist Andy Warhol was sold in the block, was sold on blockchain based art investment platform, Macyness, to qualified participants. Approximately 1.7 million US was raised in cryptocurrency for the auction for a 31.5% stake of the artwork, whose total Valuation was 5.6 million. More than 800 bidders signed up for the auction, which conducted entirely using a smart contract. Most of the bidders from Asia and Europe. So I'm going to leave the link below so you guys can take a look at this whole article. But you could um, pay for your purchases in Ethereum, Bitcoin, or ART. For the blockchain auction, 14 small electric cars was tokenized being converted into Ethereum-based digital certificates, enabling buyers to purchase portions or fractions of the artwork using ETH, BTC, or Macina's own currency, the ART token. Over 6 million ART tokens were utilized by the smart contracts in the course of the auction, which registered 6.5 million as the highest bid. Wow. So it's the first time that a world-renowned painting has been tokenized, so on and so forth. But now check this out. Here's... Um, the auction began on July 25th, and it just ended today. But here's what's really cool. I'm going to hop back over here to this uh, other article here. And stick with me, guys. There's a lot of cool stuff uh, today, but this is really neat. So it's another article from CryptoVest. But check this out. Oh, here we go, right above my head. The goal, okay, all buyers are subject to know your K KYC, know your customer, anti-monitoring, anti laundering uh, checks to make sure that they're all compliance. But check this out, really cool. The goal of the auction was to validate the end-to-end -end process of the Dutch auction and to tokenize, tokenization of the artwork. The final price of each share was determined by a running smart contract. Buyers in the Ethereum network, buyers were able to buy digital certificates for fractional ownership of the artwork, which would entitle them to dividends from fees collected for the ex exhibition of artwork of the artwork in various galleries and museums. Wow, right? You buy into this, okay? You get a percentage of the percentage of the artwork. And then as the artwork goes on tour or they set up exhibits and they have fees and stuff like that, you receive uh, dividends based on the percentage that you own. <laughs> wow, right? You get to uh, own art and invest, and you also get to make an income off of it. And with any luck, it's going to appreciate in value. All done by the blockchain. Really, really cool. Really cool. Anyway, check it out. Maybe we can start all, all start our own museums. 
Next up, I want to talk a little bit about uh, Yahoo, okay? So, about 10 days ago, Yahoo announced um, that Yahoo Finance was going to be selling Bitcoin, Litecoin, and Ethereum. Now, they just pretty much put a buy-sell link in there, but for a major mainstream company like this, like Yahoo, I mean, huge, right? And especially like since their competition with Google and Google's having a lot of problems with blockchain, controlling it, not controlling it, whatever they're doing. So it's really interesting to see a Yahoo steps up here and they actually uh, have a few more things that we'll talk about in another date. But for now, the plug and play here on their Yahoo Finance end of their site is good news, right? Good news. They say 113 million Yahoo Finance users can now buy and sell, and, and they can. I mean, and they could before, but now they can, especially if they're um, on there all the time and they're using that platform for their research to make some of their decisions when they're uh, making their investments. Now they have the Litecoin, Ethereum, and the Bitcoin pop right there in the face. Yahoo Finance is the latest brand to join the crypto fray. The media arm of Yahoo's network, Yahoo Finance, provides news and data on finance along with stock updates and much more. The site also provides tools to manage personal finance. From now on, it would also be catering to the crypto industry in a more peculiar manner. Pe pe peculiar manner. So uh, Yahoo Finance already has about 112 cryptocurrencies added to its crypto section. Now that 112 cryptocurrencies, they talk about market cap volume, change in price, just like coin market cap that we just took a look at. But they now have uh, buttons to... It is now offering the option to buy and sell selected cryptocurrency on its platform, one of the most popular finance news websites. It's providing the option to buy and sell only for Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, and Litecoin. So that is really cool, right? Awesome stuff. I'll leave the link below as well. You can take a look at it and read the full article. Really, really good news, okay? Now, Okay, I'm part of a group here in Connecticut, and there's a guy named Derek in the group, and he just threw out on Facebook group, did anybody see the NFL commercial with Yahoo Finance? So I searched and searched and searched for it, and I will leave it up to you guys to search some your, some, some yourself. I could not find it, but um, apparently he got a screenshot of it uh, as it was just finishing playing, and it's an um, advertisement on the NFL that happened about an hour ago today in uh, – advertising cryptocurrency at their Yahoo Finance end of their site. <laughs> big deal, right? NFL, Yahoo, whew, big deal, big deal. It's crazy, right? There's a couple more things I'm going to go on and uh, tell you about, but it's like, can you already see, like, connect the dots, right? What's going on here? There is something going on here. <laughs> Mainstream adoption. Woohoo! -hoo. Okay, cool. So Andy's art selling really well. Yahoo is starting to sell as well. And next, we've got some really big news, all right? Before I pop over there, I'm going to... So right now, the Litecoin Summit's going on in San Francisco. It's no secret there. There's a bunch of people out there. A uh, huge party last night. Vix Weir through. Very successful. Speakers all day today. So one of the things that we noticed before the conference started was that Gemini uh, is a major sponsor like a foundation level sponsor and when we found this out a couple weeks ago we're like oh gemini wow but they don't sell litecoin do they ha <laughs> ha do they they do now litecoin and gemini so this is from crypto recorder again i'll put a link down at the bottom litecoin is gemini about to list Litecoin. Gemini is one of the most important crypto exchanges in the US. And uh, let's see right here. And one second. This is not the article I wanted to read here. Right here. This is the, do. This is the Reddit, okay? It's not too glamorous when you're taking a look at the Reddit, right? Gemini is adding Litecoin, but the information here is um, is good stuff. Uh, 
Huh. Sorry, folks. Let's go right back to that first article. No, we're not going to go to that article because that article is from the 18th. So let's do a quick search. I'm an I to sell Litecoin. Ah, here we go. Article after article after article, right? Ah, oh, it's a video. Gemini to sell Litecoin. Why is it so hard to find like this? Gemini might be. Gemini might be. Here we go. The Winklevoss brothers. Okay, so on Monday morning, the Winklevoss twins backed crypto, crypto exchange Gemini announced that it would be releasing US dollar stablecoin, stablecoin, stablecoin. Yes, but... Where is the news on Litecoin? I can't find a solid article to read with you guys, but let's go back to the search here. I know it's happening. As they were a big sponsor. Gemini, Litecoin to be added in Gemini, October 14th. All right, we're not going to listen to one of these videos, but uh, trust me, it's happening. I will work on the exact link, and I will leave it below. But just more good news, right? More mainstream adoption. Um, Litecoin, 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 Litecoin. Okay, sorry about that. was not very prepared there. Threw me for a loop because there was uh, some older articles. Next, I want to talk about BitPay, okay? Um, BitPay and uh, consequently Bitcoin.com wallet uh, uh, work in conjunction with each other, all right? So BitPay is a way that you can use your Bitcoin to pay for things. It's a, it's a, it's like a credit card, but it's like a prepaid credit card. And with the Bitcoin wallet, you can move some Bitcoin from the Bitcoin wallet over to the BitPay card. They also have um, Bitcoin Cash. Um, capabilities as well. And then you could buy things, you can pay for your bills and stuff like that. It's a way to get some of the cryptocurrency out. And anyway, BitPay delisted from Google Play Store. So now, you know, the iOS, iOS, iOS um, and Google Play Store, they have lots and lots of apps that come and go, come and go. And they, from time to time, get these uh, like bugs up their ass and then they change things and stuff. So what they decided to do here was they decided to delist BitPay from the Play Store. Now, in a decision that took the community by surprise, Google delisted BitPay from the Play Store. Being one of the most popular wallets in the community, Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash adopters around the world, it was quite strange this would happen now that notice. So when they asked them, and I will leave a link to this below, but when they asked uh, Google Play, uh, Google, what happened? Why did they do this? Uh, they quickly said that it was removed because the they don't support any mining, cryptocurrency mining apps. And it was mistakenly thought that these were two cryptocurrency mining apps. Now, one, uh, it has the word wallet in their name. And I mean, forgive me if I'm wrong, but when they do list an app to sell, it goes through a process to be vetted and everything. And then during that process, one would believe they would know what the app is, right? Months and months and months and months go by. And now it, all of a sudden, it's a mining app. Oh, but wait, that was two days ago. If you look at the Google Play Store, it's back on now because neither one of those were mining apps. One was a wallet and the other one's a prepaid debit card that could be funded with Bitcoin to pay 
bills, right? So funny stuff, not funny stuff, who knows? At least it's still there, but it shows that uh, you got to keep your eyes on everything that's going around, right? Wow, a lot of talk, a lot of time. Going to take a look at this, but um, and I'm going to leave links below for everything. And I just wanted to thank you for hanging out and listening to all this. And I want to thank you for just still being into the cryptocurrency market. If you are here and you are listening to me, you have come a long way. You're not scared off and stuff like that. And uh, it will pay off. Okay, guys. Once again, educational advice only. Thank you for listening. This is Bill P from BP3 Crypto on BP3 TV. Have a great night. Ciao. Ciao. Ciao.